Hey everybody, so are you enjoying sitting around the house all day? <laughs> if you're like me and well most of us, we're probably having to spend a lot of time indoors these days, not getting out and doing much. But luckily, as a woodworker, if you have a shop, there's a lot of things you can do. You can come out to your shop, you can clean your shop, you can organize your shop, you can, I don't know, putter around, do stuff, but better yet, you can make a project. And that's what I was thinking I would do this week is make a project. But I wanted to do something a little bit different and I thought it would be fun to take you along my process this week of making a project because some people on Instagram I was talking to and they were like, we, we really want to see some woodworking videos. There's nothing else for us to do. And I thought, well, that's great. But the, my way of making videos is I do the whole project and the whole thing. And then I script what I'm going to say. And then I edit it all together and blah, blah, blah. And it's a big, big thing. And I thought, why not I just kind of take you a little bit at a time, maybe in a series of videos throughout the next few days, and make a project. I don't know how this is gonna work. It's probably YouTube death. <laughs> I don't know how many people are gonna to wanna to watch something as kind of laid back as this, but we'll see how it goes. And hopefully it provides you some entertainment as you're sitting around social distancing yourself. So what I wanna make is a printer stand for my office. Let me take you up to the office and show you what I have in mind. So this is the office that I, sh I share with my wife. This is her desk. You might recognize that one that I recently made. Hey, there's bubble. Hi, Bubbles! I don't know if you know, we got you. and there's Cobra. Those are our two new cats since Princess Meow Meow was gone, and there's oh, Cobra smelling her butt. Anyways, getting back to the office, this is my wife's desk that you saw me build last month. This is my desk, the exact same desk. This is all part of my Powered Up course. I've got a standing desk on mine. I rarely sit down in this desk. And this is the problem area. This is actually, I built this whew, maybe 15 years ago or more, and it was a, it's a dictionary stand. So this part would, would raise up. It's actually turned around backwards. It was raised up as a, anyways, nobody has dictionaries anymore. So I've been using it as this printer stand and then just hold a bunch of junk here. My CPU is on the floor, which is probably not the best solution for it. And then I've got just tons of <laughs> hard drives here that I keep all the backups of my mostly video files. So we've got, this is my wife's business printer. So what I want to do is put this one and this one in the same location right here. And then we can get rid of this writing desk. You might remember I made that a while back too. I'm not sure. We'll probably put it in storage for, for now and just free up some space because again, we have a very small house and so every inch of space we can get is great especially when so much of it these days is being taken up by cats i'm working on sketchup trying to design the new printer stand and i like to start projects by let me go over here looking at examples of printer stands just using google and i found some that are yeah, sort of okay but you know usually i can find like one or two little elements that i like and kind of bring them into uh, bring them into my design. One thing I like about this little bitty one is that it, there's storage room for paper here. So if I go back to my SketchUp model, and this is this is going to change drastically, I'm sure. But right now I'm just trying to lay out the general size of it. This will be a shelf for my wife's comp uh, printer, which is much takes up a lot more space, and she needs to open the top of it. My printer will go down here which doesn't need as much room and I never need to open that scanner. I never scan anything. And so this would be the area I think I could store some paper and stuff there. Then a big area here to hold my CPU and maybe some shelves for all of my hard drives. I want the whole thing on casters. So uh, I'm kind of working on that right now. And that's kind of where I'm stuck right now is trying to figure out how do I make this into an interesting sort of design that doesn't look too clunky, but is still lightweight and hopefully I don't need to put a back on it, at least maybe a part of it up here, but I'd like to have it all open so that all the mess of billions of cords can feed out that way. So this is pretty much how I begin almost all of my projects by searching online for examples of the thing I wanna make and then pulling individual elements 
that I like of those things and trying to design something, making it my own so that I'm not just copying somebody else's design. And that's really a lot of fun to do that, but it takes a lot of time because I just have to spend so much time maneuvering things around and sketch up and changing my ideas and coming up with different configurations. And then the practical elements of it, just to make sure that it's woodworkingly possible because you do a lot of stuff in SketchUp, but you always have to keep in mind, how am I going to actually build this in the real world? So to design a project like this, it usually takes me at least a day or two of really working with SketchUp and just constantly changing and evolving. It's kind of like writing, you know, it's when you start to write something, it kind of changes and evolves as as your story or as your article goes on. And it's the same way with, with designing projects. Okay, after a lot of work, this is the design I think I'm pretty happy with. I've got two doors on the front, but I've got this grid work on there so the CPU and the hard drives have air to breathe. And in, in the back, it's just gonna be open for all of the cords. But I gotta hurry up and run down to the home center and get some lumber. I didn't really get a chance to measure out exactly all the lumber I, I need, but I've gotta hurry because they just issued an order that all non-essential stores are gonna be closing at midnight tonight for the next three weeks. I never recommend over, over buying lumber, but in this case, I didn't have much time to measure out and make a cut list just yet. So I got a sheet of three quarter, sheet of quarter inch plywood, and I got six one by three boards. So hopefully that'll get me through the project. And I picked up a couple of these sheets of aluminum and casters and some hinges. And I hate just buying lumber without knowing exactly what all I need, but this is my last chance to pick up any supplies for at least the next three weeks. So I wanna make sure at least I'm fairly well stocked. I've got some lumber at home. You know, if I need to, I can use it. Well, I guess that's gonna do it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up those plans a little bit and hopefully come up with some sort of a game plan where I can start to build this. Hopefully I got all of the materials. There's not gonna be any more available for a while, <laughs> so. Yeah. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. I'll be back tomorrow with a continuation of this project and I don't know how long this will last, but I think it's important for all of us to just keep doing what we do. And to me, my job, in addition to hopefully teaching woodworking, my job here on YouTube is to entertain people. And if I can at least give you a few minutes out of your day where you don't have to think about all of the craziness that's going on in the world right now and just focus on something simple like building a project, I hope, I hope I'm able to supply you with that service. So, Stay with me if you can, and I, I usually don't like to do this, but if you can, please give this video a like and hopefully we can get people watching this series. All right, let's make a printer stand. <laughs>